Hey, welcome to Well.com, home of TIG time. Hey, we've had a lot of requests for some special alloys. In fact, the, the weldability of taking a titanium exhaust and welding it to a stainless exhaust. There's a transition point in there, and there's always a question, how can we attach them? Mechanically fix them, but wouldn't it be nice to weld them? So uh, we took a look at it, and first of all, you need to know that the difficulty in, in mixing and matching those two alloys is not recommended. Primarily because they're just two different alloys. They they'll they'll uh, they'll get liquid, and and they'll try to bond, but eventually they try to segregate. So I'm going to show you today what we can do with this, and and it'll actually create a puddle. But uh, it, it would be nice to be able to take the exhaust system and then all of a sudden go into titanium. Uh, just not very likely. So. Uh, I know that there's all kinds of crazy ways you can do uh, diffusion bonding and things like that, but for the guy out there that's doing the hot rod or the Maserati or the motorcycle, uh, this is an, an example of what they would be trying. So I've got titanium filler material, 64 titanium, 304 stainless steel. I'm going to DC weld this. It's just a butt weld, and I'm not going to go to the exotic uh, flooding of gases. I've got a gas lens. I just want to show that the two will get liquid and see if you get the same results. So let me get my gear on and show you. Okay, I got the two pieces set up. I've got the titanium here, the stainless here. I'm using a titanium filler material. And then a little bit later, I'll change fillers and show you why. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to make a weld and uh, mix the two, a dab filler. Um, I'm not worried about gas backup. This material has pretty high tensile strength, so if I get any kind of a weld, there's no way that I'm going to be able to break it apart. So uh, I'm just going to show you the two and how they mix. You can really tell they're, they're trying to repel each other. But I keep dabbing filler just to keep a common bond. It's kind of pretty bizarre looking actually. Okay, so uh, you know, it, 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 it tried to weld. You could see the two liquids mixing. I, I can hear some crackling going on. I got some blues and funny colors there. So from a weldability standpoint, just visually, uh, it kind of welded. So we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and let this cool off and then we're gonna weld another sample of titanium, but this time we're gonna use stainless filler material. Okay, now that I finished the first weld, I'm on the second weld. The difference is my filler material is a 308L. So I'm gonna to try to mix and match this 304 uh, stainless steel to titanium. Uh, DC, I've got a pointed tungsten. I'm gonna use probably around 50 to 75 amps. Argon shielding. Okay, what was kind of interesting in all this is that using this filler, 
it wet it out nicer from the top. But again, it's a visual thing. So let's see what happens when it cools off. Okay, well, both of these metals are weldable. They're just not weldable to each other. So just know that I used a, a filler here. I used titanium filler to try to put titanium to stainless. And what happened is when it cooled off, it actually cooled off, created a very fast crack, and this piece actually pushed away about an inch all on its own. Didn't have to put finger pressure or anything else. It just flew off there. So let's go over to this weld where I used the uh, 308L stainless filler material. It actually wetted out nicer. Visually, it looked good. It looked like it was a, a pretty decent weld. And it, it started cracking. You could hear it cracking, but it, it didn't give up the ghost. The, the part itself stayed together until I just lightly touched it. Lightly touched it and it fell. So it's got no strength whatsoever. So, I mean, this, this is a failure. Just don't want you to try this at home. I don't want you to try to take an exhaust system and, and do this because it's going to fail on you. So I, I, I think that anyone that's gotten involved in this type of welding, uh, be very, very careful. Go stainless to stainless. We're going to be doing segments where you can put different types of stainless together. But uh, anyway, this experiment's done and uh, don't try it at home. Thank you for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG. To stay up with the latest TIG welding technology and education, subscribe by clicking the button below.